Bulls front line six, and we're going to do a uh, review on uh, this tomahawk here. So we'll, we'll get with you. Okay. Bulls front line six here. We have uh, the cold steel trailhawk. I uh, stained the this handle, and I made a oh leather. Um, it's like a holder, not like a sheath, but like a belt holder. Belt looper right here. Uh, yeah, so I'll get, the, I'll get the sheath off and I'll talk about that in the tomahawk. Well, so, yeah. here is the like the holder. Uh, the handle goes through the hole and the head fits inside there. I'll get some pictures of this after the at the end of the video. But it's held together with these rivets on the this side, and it's held and this side it's got. Um, leather like twine I guess or like leather cordage I guess then this uh, belt loop hold the other rivets so that's eh, pretty good for I guess homemade I guess so now let's get to the cold steel trailhawk um I got this on Amazon for I don't remember it was like around 30 bucks I guess let's just go with that to about 30 bucks um the head is a 1055 carbon steel the head is um, six and a half inches long, and the the cutting edge on it is um, two and one fourth inches long. I got the, the this edge pretty sharp with just a file and some and yeah, or just, just a file I used, but I used like an also like a like a I don't know if that was called uh, ceramic. There you go. Uh, this is American hickory handle. It's a 22 inch long hickory handle. Um, it's pretty light. Um, pretty light overall. The overall ounces is 23.6 ounces on this. Um, so yeah, this actually come, it comes uh, like a white color. By so I stained it, make it look a little darker. I was gonna take this, take the um, this coating off the head, but I decided not oh, to. I'm back again. Um, let's talk about this hammer pull now. It's, uh, got this hammer pull. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, heat treated. So it's the, the cutting edge. Uh, it's like a 56 Rockwell, I think it was. My, shot the top of my head. Um, but, yeah, it's got a friction fit head on it. You can put a screw in it, because it comes with a screw in it. But, Took my screw out. I like taking the head off and using it like that. I'll take the head off right now, but I'm inside and I want to bang on the floor with the handle to get it back on. So I won't take it off, but I usually would take it off. Um, but yeah, I'll do a cutting test and stuff with it out in the woods because it's winter right now and I can't, I can't really can't get out because we're in Michigan and it's a lot of snow out in the woods. So kind of hard to get out of there. So when it's, it's in February right now, so in about maybe mid mid March, I'll be able to be out in the woods and get a video out there of this, and I'll get some survival videos out and like shelter building and all kind of good stuff out there. Um, so yeah, um, uh, we'll be making an Instagram, uh, for our all kinds of like our all our videos and like stuff we'll be doing and like stuff like that. So look at that. It'll be the Bulls five nine six, um, yeah. So, um, see what let's talk about the sheath again. I guess instead of buying like a really expensive leather sheath, you can just make a nice little sheath or holder. I guess it's not like a sheath, but look at that. My grandpa had all this material. I got I made this thing for free and it works great. Um, yeah. So just ask people for leather. Rivets are like dollar twenty nine, I guess, and you can get like uh, rivet like flares or whatever they're called for pretty cheap, and yeah, so you can get make some pretty good stuff out of it's just by asking people. So yeah, that's our uh, video on the hold steel uh, trail hawk. Um, my butt or Brian's gonna get one of these too, so we might customize that one. A little more than this one, just depends on what he likes. So make a video on that, maybe. Um, but we we'll definitely make some videos um, about us out in the woods. 
um, of us just, yeah, no worries. So, thanks for watching, rate, comment, and subscribe, and, uh,